Hey, hey guys, I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Um, this is a very busy, crazy week for us. And so I wanted to make sure that um, I didn't leave you guys um, out. I got on here and um, talked to you about all the things that are important to you, important to me in terms of toxic um, ingredients and your fertility. So one of the easiest ways to... Um, to get the toxins out of your life is just simply by eliminating um, extra products. So not only are you going to eliminate the toxins, you're going to save a lot of money too, right? So um, in the intro video, we talked about the number one thing um, to switch out in your life is your laundry products. So your um, eliminating fabric softener, eliminating um, your dryer sheets and switching to a non-toxic um chemical free, good rated, um, laundry product soap. Um, that was a lot of words for no reason. Sorry about that. Okay. So the other thing that you could do that's super, super easy. So remember we're doing the laundry products because you're in your clothes or on your sheets 23 and a half hours a day. So it's making a huge impact on your uh, bioaccumulation of chemicals. So the next thing about um, switching out something super easy in your life is to get a sodium lauryl sulfate and preferably fluoride, which we'll talk about later in the week, but a sodium lauryl sulfate free toothpaste. So these are pretty easy to find nowadays. You can get them at Target even or Whole Foods. Sometimes even the grocery stores um, have them. The reason that you want to eliminate a, uh, a toothpaste that has sodium lauryl sulfate in it, it's a known carcinogen. The sodium lauryl sulfate acts as a foaming agent, which we love as Americans. We love that foaming agent, um, that big, uh, rabid, foamy, toothpastey mouth, right? That's what we're used to. So just know when you switch, you may or may not get that. Um, I have some natural toothpaste that I use that um, I still get that same kind of feeling, maybe a little bit less. So the reason that we want to switch out our toothpaste, it's twofold. It's that sodium lauryl sulfate. Your mouth is a mucous membrane, which means that everything, um, all that sodium lauryl sulfate that you're putting in your mouth via toothpaste is going right into your bloodstream very rapidly. Um, so we talk about like medications being absorbed sublingually under your tongue. So can you imagine like the sodium lauryl sulfate is like, it's on a highway to your bloodstream, super highway. So, and then the fluoride, do your own research on fluoride. We're going to talk about it later this week, but fluoride is actually a neurotoxin. And so if you can eliminate that out of your toothpaste, and if you can eliminate that out of your water, um, that is going to reduce your bioaccumulation too. So two easy ways, laundry, and now we're on to toothpaste. I don't, I don't think that those are too big for anybody to tackle, right? Pretty easy, very inexpensive. We're, it's going to reduce your overall bioaccumulation. Remember, these are hormone and endocrine disruptors too. So they're definitely affecting your reproductive and your endocrine system. So the other ones that I want to talk about are the VOCs um, that we um, that we were talking about. And so VOCs come from um, things off-gassing like plastic. So if you can um, try to switch out your plastics in your um, in your house for glass um, and just uh, try to eliminate as much plastic in your house as possible. I know some of you may be experiencing secondary infertility and so that's a tall order. I get you. We definitely still have plastic in our house, but um, we have stopped using like plastic film and things like that. Replace that with uh, reusable bags. It's Earth Day um, today and in the future, um, just know that this was filmed on Earth Day um, if you're watching this. Um, and so, you know, being not only is it helping your health, it's being budget friendly to um, the other glass containers and the recyclable containers are um, a little bit more expensive up front as an investment, but they last longer and then you're, you're helping the planet as well, right? Okay, MEA, DEA, and TEA. These are a lot of ingredients. They're um, a kind of chemical, ethyl, 
nylamines. This is why I just use the abbreviation instead. I don't know exactly how to say that, but we'll go with that. So these are a lot um, of chemicals found in your makeups. So let's start with laundry. Let's start with toothpaste. This might be something that might be a deal breaker for you right now. So just, you know, skip over that. Do the easy ones. Don't just get into a mindset that I'm not going to throw all my makeup away. When you run out of your makeup, start searching out greener, chemical-free options. There's a lot of great makeup options out there nowadays. And so I mentioned to you um, all that money you're saving by not buying your uh, laundry products, your fabric softener, your dryer sheets, um, eliminating um, the VOCs in your home also through not using aerosol um, room freshening sprays, not using plugins. You guys, I could do like a three hour, I could have a three hour conversation with you about how toxic um, plugins and synthetic air fresheners are. Um, they are really, really bad for your whole body, um, but terrible for your endocrine system, terrible for your hormones. And it's an easy thing just to get used to saving that money, unplug it, throw it out. Don't use the air fresheners. If you do need to use something, look, look for something essential oil-based. You can make your own sprays really easily with witch hazel and a few drops of essential oils. So um, anyway, uh, if you're watching this, and you are watching on Facebook and you like more of this content, I have more of this over on my YouTube channel. You can just search my first and last name, hit the subscribe and the like, um, the bell button to get notified when I go live again. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe and that bell button for notifications. We're in a series called Toxins in Your Covered. And um, today we're talking about the MEA, DEA, TEA, which are ethyl nanolamines. Ugh, I can't say it. Um, VOCs and formaldehyde. So we just talked about where you can find those. And the rest of the series, we're going to talk about easy ways to eliminate these chemicals in your home and in your personal care products for your health and your reproductive, um, for your for your fertility, right? So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and I will see you soon. Health and blessings. Bye-bye guys.